Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be looking at DN numbers and talking about what they are. They tend to be a source of confusion for a lot of people. For this, I will be looking at vowels and their markings, so we'll touch on other subjects too. Here we have a vowel from GF. It is a 546 model and is one of the most popular in industrial applications. If we spin it around, we can see there are other markings too. I'll just point out that the PN16 marking means that this valve is rated for 16 bars of pressure. We've created another video all about PN numbers and pressure ratings, which is definitely worth a watch if you want to know more. Now, this is the DN number. We can see that this valve is designated DN40. This does not simply mean that it is for use with pipe with an outer diameter of 40 millimeters. I'll explain a little more. DN stands for diametre nominal, which is French but translates to English as nominal diameter. But always remember this not an accurate reflection of the pipe's outer diameter. The number is based on an approximation of the bore size of pipe that it is intended to fit. Knowing the approximate size of the bore is useful when selecting a pipe size for any given flow rate. But it is the outside diameter that is important for connectivity and size compatibility. If we take a look at some pipe we can get a better understanding. Here I have a small sample of UPVC pipe with an outer diameter of 50 millimeters. Now let's look at the actual inner diameter. We are measuring just over 44 millimeters for the inner diameter. You'll see that the actual inner diameter differs between pipes of the same size designation depending on the pipe's pressure rating. But both pipes are classed as DN40. In this chart you'll see each DN number with its actual corresponding outer diameter. You'll notice that all DN numbers are rounded to a standard size, but the actual outer diameter is the next standard size up. So a DN25 is actually 32 mm outer diameter, a DN32 has an OD of 40 mm. As we have already seen a DN40 has an OD of 50 mm, and this pattern continues. To further complicate matters, here in the UK, we have two systems in common use. They are the metric and imperial system. DN numbers are part of metric system, but don't assume because a part is marked with a DN that you need metric. Looking at this valve for example, it is marked with a DN number. But it is also marked with other markings that relate to size compatibility, it has both imperial and metric size designations. Components are not directly interchangeable between imperial and metric systems. So what's going on? The valve body has an approximate bore size that is suitable for both imperial and metric, but it is valve ends that are important for size compatibility with the pipe. The valve ends are separable from the body, and so the same body mold is used for both imperial and metric. The valve becomes either metric or imperial when it is assembled with the valve ends. Let's have another look at our GF valve from earlier. Now we know that the DN number doesn't necessarily mean that it is a metric valve. We can check whether we have an imperial or metric valve by looking at the valve ends. The valve end is marked 1.5 inch, so it is imperial. It is for use with 1.5 inch NB pipe. The DN40 means it belongs on the DN40 valve body. Here I have a valve end that I've taken from a metric valve, let's have a look at these markings. The end is marked as D50, meaning it is compatible with metric pipe with outer diameter of 50 mm. The DN40 means it belongs on the DN40 valve body. DN references the nominal diameter of the bore and the letter D references the outer diameter of pipe. This is where a lot of people get confused and make the very common mistake of believing that DN is the outer diameter, which of course you now know it is not. If you have learned something new from our video, please support us by giving it a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.